It's springtime in the Twin Cities, and that means car pileups because drivers let their guard down and forget that there can easily be ice in April. We'll let you count just how many buses are involved in this pileup, but we'll give you a hint. It's more than just the one school bus. One car started this by hitting the wall, which meant less space for the school bus to maneuver in this curve over I-94 in Minneapolis. And in the top right corner of your screen, another car quickly slides in behind it smashing into the concrete wall. So there's three cars involved at this point, and as luck would have it, next one in is a slinky bus, a giant two-partition city bus carrying a lot of mass and nowhere to go. In so many pile-ups, visibility plays a role. Sometimes that can be weather-related. In this instance, it's the arch of the bridge and the curve of the bridge as a fourth car careens in. It's the arch of the bridge and the the curve of the bridge that prevent drivers from knowing the risks that are ahead of them. And it's April 8th, 2022, when this occurred. So drivers are not really expecting ice on the road and probably haven't encountered it on their commute. It's just this one section of the bridge is iced. But we've got a pedestrian who is out of their car now on the freeway or on a freeway ramp. And you see this, this is really common because their airbags deployed. They want to get out. There's lots of dust and debris in your car and all these gases when your airbags deploy. So it's super natural to want to get out of your car. But take a look. There's no option for him should a car come at him and just remember this is a freeway or freeway on ramp so there are always always more cars coming and there's few outs it's not like he can jump over the wall thankfully he gets lucky this time and there there's another totaled out car we've now got five or six cars involved total by give the pedestrian credit this is one option it's risky but he goes upstream or kind of towards the oncoming traffic to get traffic to start to slow down, communicate that there are risks ahead. So that's risky. He's still a pedestrian on the freeway, but he was the one that helped end this pile up. Police or troopers arrived on scene within a few minutes, even drove the wrong way to get up there quickly. Then they clear out the backlog, but they've got it closed down. So once this backlog gets out, now they can bring in the the big the big toys they start salting, bringing in first responders. We're unaware of any injuries related to this incident, so it seems like we got pretty lucky. And credit to first responders, they kind of create that center aisle there so that more equipment can come in if necessary. 